I was still pretty damn shook up from the last level in Pathos for when I started the new world. Trance. Trance's map music did absolutely nothing to ease the tension. As for how to describe it, have you ever heard of the theme from Videodrome? That's the closest thing I could think of to compare it to. I checked all the way at the end of the board to see for who the new monster was. It was Orga, a monster that didn't even make his film debut until 2000, appearing in a game made in 1988 of all things. <laughs> well, so much for my theories about Titanosaurus and Biolante, there's no way this game was made in 1988. Those guys at Toho may be smart, but I'm pretty damn sure they couldn't see that far into the future. If they could, they would have never given the rights to a Godzilla movie for Roland Emmerich. No. You know what I think? This had to be a hack of some kind. The only thing is, it only just opened up even more questions rather than answers. Who made this hack? When? How? And more importantly, why? Though, the why was the question that bothered me the most. Although, my immediate assumption was to think that Billy did this to pull a joke on me. Though to be honest, that couldn't be right either. Billy didn't know how to make a ROM hack. Even if he did, he probably would have done something absolutely simple and stupid, like replacing all the monsters with crudely drawn genitalia. Unless Billy had amazing game editing skills, and a serious dark streak to his imagination that he never told me about. He couldn't have made this. Is it even possible to put a hacked ROM into a cartridge? Either way, while looking through the map, my eye was drawn to a new icon of the map, a question mark. I was really curious as to what it did, and I'm sure all of you are curious as well. So it's time that I explain the quiz levels now, since this was the map for where they started happening. There was one of these per map from here on out, and they always appeared near the start of the game. When you start on a quiz level, you appear on a screen like this. As you can see, there's a question at the top with a yes and a no button, and an emoticon on the center. I refer to the emoticon as face. Really creative, I know. And for convenience, I'll refer to face as the one asking the questions. The music for the quiz levels was a track actually in the game. It's the one track that plays for when you try to use the Ghidorah cheat and get set into an unplayable level. Face asks you 12 yes or no questions, and you would have to move your monster to the buttons for your answer. When you answer, the question disappears, and then Face changes expressions for nearly about 8 seconds, and then he goes back to neutral, and a new question comes up. There was no time limit, nor any right or wrong answers. Although, keep in mind, Face has no respect for the player's personal boundaries, and will sometimes ask like deeply disturbing and personal questions. For example, do you like hurting people? Have you ever killed or raped anyone? Have you been molested by a family member? Other times, he would ask questions that were either mind-numbingly stupid, like is the sun hot, or is water wet, or just flat-out ridiculous questions, like for example, does your dog like the president? And maybe once per quiz, Face would ask you a question about the game. With one exception, Face's expression changes seem to have no effect on the game except for indicating what the game creator thought of your answer. His reactions rarely made any sense, and at first I thought they were randomly generated. The questions never follow a pattern, 
Face never stayed on the same subject for more than two questions. Early on, there were questions that made me think Face was building up to something, only to then ask some stupid garbage. But while we're at it, here are the expressions of Face that I saw while playing. I'll separate them into two categories, the expressions I understood, and the expressions I didn't. First are the expressions that I understood. One is neutral, his default expression. Two is angry. If you try to attack face, his expression changes to this, but nothing else happens. Three is sad. Four is happy. Five is sick. Six is maniacal. Note, face made this expression for when he was being an asshole. You'll see what I mean later. Seven is surprised. Eight is love. Nine is annoyed. Ten is confused. And eleven is guilty or hurt. And then, here are the others that I didn't understand. Two of these only appeared once. Number one and number twelve. And I suspected they may have been in-jokes from the creator. The respective questions were... Do you like ice cream? And are you a tough guy? As for the questions in the first quiz, luckily, I had a notepad and pen handy. I have problems remembering things, so I often carry one around to jot things down, and sometimes I doodle it whenever I'm bored. So when the first quiz started, I thought I'd record for what happened. I'm glad I did. Here are the first series of questions. My answers? and faces reactions. Do you like the game? Yes. Are you afraid? Yes. Are you over 18? Yes. Do birds have teeth? No. Is peanut butter good? No. Does the moon rotate? Yes. Have you had a job? Yes. Do you like hurting people? No. Is the sun hot? Yes. Do you like dogs? Yes. Is the president good? Yes. Does your dog like the president? No. Now that I've explained all of that, it's time for the gameplay. After the quiz level, I tried the new green temple icon first. Wow, maybe this is why the game was so weird. I would assume one of the designers were clearly drugged out of their mind. <laughs> well, jokes aside, I was actually impressed by the graphics of this level, as disorienting as they were. Though, I really do not like those creepy, blank staring statue faces. The music had a hypnotic Indian techno vibe to it. There were two enemies in this level, a flying ghost type thing with a trunk, and a bat with a horse skull for a face. They appear at random, but I was lucky to get a screen cap of them both. Then after that, I proceeded to a blue mountain level, expecting a nice, calm stroll. I took my time walking through the mountains. And then all of a sudden, I was completely taken by surprise when this happened. Not Mogira came speeding towards me and took quite a bit of health from me with his tentacle screw. It only took two minutes to kill him without having to worry about a time limit. But the boss monsters never show up in a scrolling level in the normal game. I was quite worried as to what other rules the game would break. After another blue mountain stage, it was time to fight Not Varen, whose replacement was one of the most bizarre things in this game. This strange creature attacks you by kicking and also opening his chest and firing heat-seeking missiles. I still did not get it. The missiles were sometimes a pain to deal with, but I found out that you could tail whip them out of the way. Not Varen was probably the easiest of the monster replacements. 
Although, the same could not be said for not Hidora. Apparently the source of the horse bats, not Hidora was the most aggravating, difficult monster to fight yet. Mostly because of his special ability. He could shriek very loudly and summon a small swarm of those horse bat things. I know that there's only two of them in the screen cap, but every time he did this, about 10 would arrive. The AI took advantage of the distraction and attacked twice as fast while the horse bats were flying around. Once that annoyance was over, I went through a green temple level to kill some enemies to restore my health. Interestingly, none of the horse bats showed up after Nahidora was killed. And then, that's when I had an idea. If killing all the monsters makes the red face show up, what would happen if I avoid fighting Orga and go straight to the base? And so, I gave it a try. Unfortunately, the game told me that there was no monster there when I tried to start the base level. Although the strangest thing was that immediately afterwards, the game took control of my Godzilla piece and moved it right in front of Orga. My little trick didn't work. So I tried to prepare myself for another chase sequence. But before that, I had to beat Orga. The fight with Orga confirmed another thing. Whoever created this game hack was clearly a Godzilla fan. Not only because they picked a monster like Orga, but because they actually implemented something that happened in Godzilla 2000 in a really neat way too. Orga's primary attacks were a punch and a heat beam from his shoulder cavity, but once you add him down to half of his health, he did something new. He would expand his jaws and try to swallow Godzilla, in the process stealing your health and energy. Though, this would be stupid of him to do because he gave himself a new weakness. Firing a heat beam into his mouth would take up devastating four bars from his health. With that weakness revealed, I soon beat Orga. Although, despite how much I hoped otherwise, the red face appeared on the map where the base was, and the music stopped. <sighs> I tried to ready myself as I could. I started the level, and seeing that it was basically the same as the first, I did not waste a millisecond before I started hauling ass. I soon encountered obstacles in the form of the ground tile suspended in the air. Most of them you could jump over or destroy, others you had to crouch down under. About 40 seconds into it, I heard the horrible bellowing roar and saw the spider beast following close behind me. Stacks of obstacles barely slowed it down. It would back up and then charge its way through them, smashing them into bits. And when the smaller obstacles got in its way, it would expand its jaws and swallow them whole. I was really afraid, but with fast thinking and faster button pressing, I escaped him yet again. I felt really excited, so I laughed so hard, and then I said, NOT THIS TIME, ASSHOLE! I decided to take a scraped cap to celebrate. But then, when I said that sentence, just before the level ended, the monster did something that made my blood run cold. It looked at me. That wave of mortal terror overtook me again, and I sure as hell wasn't laughing anymore. I took another screen cap of the next level title, right before I rushed into the bathroom and splashed some water on my face and a piss that I nearly failed to contain when that fucking thing looked at me. 
<sighs> With that aside, it was on to the next world. Dementia. <laughs>